Ark. Salvation Fest. Ark. On the way to heaven. God bless you all this afternoon. I'm going to talk about the protocol or procedures which we have to take through which we can get to God. Now, godly protocol. And I've named it or themed it Godly Protocol. Empty hand to church or to see a man of God is an abomination. Sorry, for this reason, these laid down procedures or the godly protocol. The secret way and the power of God. Did you ever know that the sacrifice of offering is one of the powerful ways to get to God? There's this power or this fervent power in a sacrifice of offering. There are seven powerful there are seven powerful ways or seven powerful or should I say there are, when you have to give offering to God expect that you have seven powerful there are seven powerful elements or power in, in the offering. act of giving to God. And the power behind the act of sacrifice of offering, the devil himself knows some of them. And so from ancient times, the devil himself has made sure that he will hold or harden a lot of people's hearts so they will not even enjoy or have fun in giving to God. And do you know the reasons why sacrifice of giving or giving to the men of God in a form of offering is really hard for people? Do you know why the devil has hardened a lot of people's hearts so they do not give offering at all? Do you know the reason why? Do we know the reason why the devil has hardened people's hearts concerning giving an offering to a man of God or giving in church at all? This for uh, the only reason behind it is that when you give an offering to God, He's able to forgive all of your sins. And 
Enyama afarobo e yeno. Tumi ya afarobo e kura. Ewo onyanko pa oni jumediye mono. Adofonom e suye papa. We have no idea the power behind the act of offering. Nsele nana wun. Enoni ya diya se woya ube wumpa. Nyami tumi de enfif doduwa esa e ka wunfi ya hon. It is the only act that... Even when you are about to die, God brings you back to life and add even more years to your years. Hey, anyanu ikena tuwa wana nyebe edo kudonu ha mawa agako efebubu agako le akokpe ufagbe. Mamen chura wo example bi obere ma yefe di Job. Let me show you this example. There's, there was this man called Job. Medie ma fi onanda amene ekole nupu ule unkwa nye hiyo. Job yobia obren sam konya me ho se ma try 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 for so many years to destroy Job minti me the devil himself visited Jesus and said he had tried so many times to kill Job but he couldn't do it abo sam e yi de mo gbo ba gbona mo be ito mo gede nu bi akogbon le Job nka ke yi meton yun e ti woni mi so obren sam konya me ho na ne bu efu se yan yo na wa bo Job ho ban e na ma minti me nsa Job ana he was angry and said if it wasn't for the protection of God, he could have easily gotten him. I want to find out why the devil couldn't get through to Job and why he did not get him. We realize that Job was a type that loved to give an offering. Christians lack divine protection. Today, a Christopher, Our Christians of today do not have the divine protection of God because we do not love to give offering. Chapter 16, verse 10 to 17. Now I want you to read the book of Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 15. 10 to 17. 10 to 17. So we can carry Deuteronomy 16, 10 to 17. Uh, or can send be 16 and 17. Or see, Mamo Famon Sapai Emba Nyamifi. If you emphasize on the book of Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 10 to 17, 17 and emphasize on the 15 and 16, 16 or the and 16 17. and 17, you realize that we were told not to take an empty hands to church. And so we have been warned by God not to take our empty hands to church. Our first Corinthians chapter 29, verse 3 to 9. In first Corinthians chapter 29, verse 3 to 9. Le Corinthian topa agbanle. First Chronicles. First Chronicles. Corinthian topa agbanle. Chronicles. Chronicles. First Chronicles. Le Chronicle topa agbanle. Tagbanto. Kuku brave vo asieke. Bravo vo. 3 to 9. Et ton plein asieke le akoye. First Chronicles. Chapter 29, verse 3 to 9. And so in First Chronicles chapter 29, verse 3 to 9. So what kind 14 and 17? If you emphasize on the 14 and 17. Or he David the new gold, or the new silver, or the new diamond. The mind says. It tells us about how David freely gave all that he had towards the kingdom of God. David in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 9 to 10. In Proverbs chapter 3, verse 9 to 10. Lolo dopa banleta ton kukui asieke koye ewolia. 
Ose, bo modi na ti asine huse a diye biyera wuni mpa wano ya wadiya. Your salary, everything that you get belongs to God. This chapter makes us understand the fact that all that we owe in this life belongs to God. Hegai chapter 1 verse 9. Let's visit the book of Hegai chapter 1 verse 9. Mia kele Hega pak banle tag ban to kukri asye ke liya. We you know Hegai chapter 1 verse 9. I was say ma wo Christo ni wot si asye se. We inti no Christo for bre. This is what should make we Christians understand that the reason why we are suffering today is the, is in this verse. Le Hega pak banle tag ban to kukri asye ke ne kele te pema. E yana tamia Christo tog ban mi le efukpem. Hegai chapter 1 verse 9. Hegai chapter 1 verse 9. Hega pak banle tag ban kukri asye ke liya. Enti ande Christo fo bo mpaye nyami ntiye. Because of this reason, God does not listen when we pray as Christians today. We want to see miracles visiting our prayer camps and everything, but we do not experience any. Psalm 96 Verse 8. In Psalm 96, verse 8. In Matthew chapter 2, verse 11. And in Matthew chapter 2, verse 11. Matthew chapter 2, verse 11. Isaiah chapter 23, verse 18. And in Isaiah chapter 23, verse 18. Isaiah chapter 23, verse 18. Isaiah chapter 23, verse 18. All tells us about how an abomination it is for you to take an empty hands before a man of God. For some of us, I believe is that because God gave the talent or gift to them for free, we expect that whatever they do, they should also give it, give it out for free. Don't forget you are listening to Messenger Morrison. Messenger Morrison. Some of the many Morrison are catching up and then say, what Messenger Morrison is telling you today is It is an abomination for any man of God to charge someone a certain amount before they even have a conversation. Any pastor who does this, the anointing of God is just out and off from him. Also for at nasi se me ya consultation me ya counseling no bi me tie sika ansa na we be hu nya me ngosra efri wo so se na efri samsen so God's anointing is off immediately a man of God sits and says I'm having a counseling or um, a consultation section and so you should come with a certain amount of money Maupa asi ejole amemi o kenye miya pe maupa me o ke wa koga. Abene di evakpa me na globe kuke na donia. Maupa si jole gbo wame ike konaga. Ene sha adie bisu so e ni paso so brunsambe primu wa koma. E di adwe mwane be share ni petrim e wa sofo hon. Let's consider this fact that we were hardened by the devil. Or our hearts were hardened by the devil not to even give out. So we have all become hearts hardened. And so if everyone wants to visit a man of God, we go as if we do not have at all. Also, so pen near my goo, Hosea, or by your baton amount, 
na ye de age wo hu sika e ye onyankopon wachi wa de and so our pastors also found ways and means to get rich by selling all manner of things to us so they can also get money which is an abomination before god eh atami apeso fo ha o komo no ade ko be ni o ko di o pega e ta wo plan mi pin na lo ko dan ni ba mo bo gba wa je no enye nu ike ma wo chiri osofo bi o ton o ye o ton handkerchief o ton any object osofo bi o ton adie bia in the form of anything e de ma member onyame nsa efre ne so any pastor or any man of god or woman of god who is found of selling anything at all to his members or her members god's anointing is not on that person nenye mo enye mo pa me alo enye nyonu e le handkerchief e la lo e taku vio e la mi o jira le me be so le o ma tepe ma mo pa si e jo le mi aji oso fo bi o se da nyame ne me akasa se bo afore nyame ne me akasa se bo afore se oso fo no onyame atwe no ho afire no ho any pastor who is found of found of always telling his members that God has told him for God has told him to tell his members to give an offering that person has no god in his life mawpa me de tere ke a choko agbon be ha me vio be mawgbon na yibe na minaga mawgbon na yibe na minanu twenya page bilbo ma owo me ma mawpa si ejoleji o onyankopon se gba afore onyankopon se gba afore sa de na wo yo na wo ta ya nyame wa twe no ho afire wo dada god has departed you have no anointing again the very moment you tell your congregation that god has said you should give an offering or you should give a sacrifice of offering unto him god has just departed from that pastor nenye e mama ne egbo be ese ai kene o mo fe nya menya fa ko be minanu minanu a e yi ke ma ke le nya nu a mo pa si ejoleji o ese ese no kwaso me se bebere o ha nya me nka nkyere won yo na mo wo pesikaje nti wo di atoro e wo nya me din mu because the truth is that they haven't heard anything from God but because they want money they say lies in the name of God nya te pe nya be mo me gbon nya de ke no ka ko le mo de jimi ke wa kokpo gata e ato le nya ma gbo le e ma ma mo fa si jology o aso fo ne mpese o be ye sa o nanso so no members ni real free godly protocol into so o ye no nya bi didi our pastors actually do not want to do that but we the members are pushing them to do so because we do not want to give a godly protocol eh atami afa mo afa mo o ma jime ni wo ne ne ma ka ka mia we na mia sol me tol me ba we na eh atol nu me wo eh ata mo fa si ejo le tepe ma e san se enipa ama asofo e ye boni nti no asofo o ko bre sem jem na ye so so mamese ni nyina yeah, cobra and Samjim. Because we have made our pastors sin so much, they are going to hell, and we, the members, are also following suit. Eh, ata mi oha mi webe mi be so fuwa. Ole joma voye me ge. Eh, mi oha mi lo kolo doge ayi. Mamen kai test away. Ewa First Samuel chapter nine verse seven. I'm going to read this verse from First Cham First Samuel, Samuel chapter nine verse seven. Makre na le na le Samuel le banto. Chapter 1 Samuel chapter 9 verse 7. In 1 Samuel chapter 9 verse 7. Let Samuel pack by letter as ye ke kukwi adre. As Samuel Samuel Saul, a bizarre na kuwa na se. A day na ye wo wo ye nse mwa. Ye be timidi ye ko shia o di fo no. Go on. In the in this scripture, all that Saul wanted to know was what they had in their hand, and they were going to see the man of God with. No, you can make me feel as Saul like Bob, but no, Kyle, you all see you are called under see a call up for my upper arm. May one said now, or caught any man, any godly protocol, you know, or the near my dean, any more one friend in a cheek, or the dean, any to see the man of God, Aya Elisha. Because Naaman knew the godly protocol, he observed such as he brought stuff which already went to the man of God even before he got there. Eh, kemi ano vi Naaman nyamo ekeji watu eh onyale ekwa mo keji watu fi akpo mawa mikpole eke uweda. What the end end the he answer wa fa ufun na wa fraud so far na wa kwa how. 
all that you know today is to just pick up your phone, call a pastor, and then straight ahead you go with your problems. And one is also for major WhatsApp, so our credit to any credit to OJ message. All that we know is that we're expecting a message every morning. We do not actually care if he has a credit or not. And one sorry I cut now software how pie baby. All we know is to come straight to the pastor and ask for prayers and then we get up and go our way. One godly protocol when the so one for so. First and foremost, we did not observe the godly protocol. Banto and Yabella Matomo Pedro do Gio. Sir, man, Mount Nina Miffy, and a man called Nina Mini Penima or then Sapai. That we shouldn't visit the church or a man of God with an empty hand. As a godly protocol, what watching into no forget about one pie bowbo. Because you having to observe the godly protocol, forget about anything that you want. That's still open room. When you hint to someone, I'm a baby called prayer camps. A quiet software who ruin him, or quiet sorry, them they be a cobble empire. No one who on your uncle when you know. This is the misery behind the reasons why we do not get what we expect when we visit our prayer camps and our men of God. No, you can't get no good. I mean, I don't mean to pick, but drop or almost a more for unty cock or pull me up. Or back on a phone, she had Jesus and all the account on two man in your other man. A bro back on a phone, she had Elijah. The obey on any baby, the young quano, what a bar for reckon, eh? All that the widow did was to give all that she had to Jesus Christ, and all that the widow also did was to give Elijah all that she had with her children. She didn't even mind if they were going to die. You can contact me on 0247701364. 0247701364. WhatsApp number. This same line is also my WhatsApp line. God bless you all.